If you've ever introduced something to somebody that has completely changed the way that they do things, you'll know how good that feels. And recently I've been introducing Overseer to a bunch of my friends that use Plex and they have all thanked me a million times for it. It is such a great thing. I was introduced to it in passing. It changed the way that I use my Plex server and every person that I've introduced it to has said that it has made their lives so much easier. It has just sped up so many processes and it has made having a Plex server with family members and friends much, much easier. So let's go ahead and talk about Overseer today. So at its foundation, Overseer is a media request and discovery platform that works with Plex specifically. Now what that means is it allows you as an individual or other people that are using your server like family and friends to go ahead and request movies or series that you want to watch and then Overseer will work with the R's like Sonar and Radar and it will go ahead and throw those requests to those services and you have to make sure you have those services set up and working the way you want to before Overseer is actually going to work but it'll go ahead and throw those requests over there so that you don't have to go ahead and jump into radar and sonar to do all of this. You can do it all from one singular platform, makes things a lot easier to basically go from, hey, I wanna watch this, to it being, of course, legally downloaded to your server. Now, there are forks that are currently being put together for Jellyfin and allowing you to use it with Jellyfin, but it is mainly, the original one is made mainly for Plex. You have to log in using a Plex account and it kind of links through that Plex account for everything. Now, if you are using Jellyfin, what you can do is you can set up a Plex server pointing to all the same media stuff as your Jellyfin and they can just kind of all read from the same thing and then it'll still use Plex as its backbone but you can just use Jellyfin as your main media server. And that's kind of what I've been doing a lot at home. I'm really enjoying the way that Jellyfin works. So I've been trying that out at home and using that as my main service. But all of my family and friends that use my server still use Plex. So I have that set up as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, in my Unraid here, we're just going to hop right into my Overseer and I'm just going to show you how it works. So it logs in using your Plex account. And this is my discover page. So my discover page right now, it's got all the recently added stuff. I've been adding quite a bit over the last few days and I've been showing people how it works. So I've just been adding random stuff like the room and stuff on there. It'll show all the recent requests and who requested them. So it's all been me and it'll show you trending stuff across the whole platform. So things that people are requesting a lot, it'll show you popular movies. It'll show you popular genres upcoming movies, so things that aren't out yet, but as soon as they're available, they'll go ahead and get downloaded. Um, it'll sort things by the studios, popular series, all kinds of stuff. You could scroll this Discover page all day and find new stuff, which is really, really cool. There's also the search function. So if we wanted to go ahead and search for something, let's try to think of something that I wouldn't have. Now let's do Legally Blonde. So if I want to go ahead and get Legally Blonde, I can request it right from this page or I can go into it and I can request it from here. And now because I'm the admin, I have access to different quality profiles that I can request it at. You can set it so that other people also will have different quality profiles or they'll just get the default quality profile. And I'll go over that in a second. I can request it as myself or different people, which is also really nice. And then from these pages, you can discover so many other things. So say I want other things with Reese Witherspoon in it. I can go to that. It'll show me all the movies with Reese in it. I can also go, hey, I want to go and look at the other movies as part of the series. I don't know what the Legally Blonde connection looks like. It's just one, two, and three. So I can go ahead and request those really quickly as well. I can request things from the particular um, director or production studio. I can also see information like the Rotten Tomato score and the TMDB score and if i click on these it'll open those pages for me which is really nice as well they also have a bunch of tags that are i think more user based or they might be getting it pulled from tomato rotten tomatoes or tmdb i'm not entirely sure you have a bunch of links to other services here that you can check it out on where it's currently streaming you get a ton of information on these pages and then it'll also recommend other movies based on that movie so if you're like 
you know what, I really like this one, I wanna get other ones like it. A really, really easy way to do that, and I've actually used this quite a bit. I've spent like a day just kind of perusing through all this different stuff and kind of going through a, you know, three degrees of separation kind of thing and just constantly going through and finding new movies to add to my server. Now, as I mentioned, you can split things up by movies and take a look at all the movies. You can look at series. And then on the side here, you also have your requests. So this will show anything that is currently available in my requests. You have other things like what's already been approved, what is pending, what's processing, what's failed, what's unavailable, all that kind of stuff. You can see it all in here. You can delete them. You can adjust them. You can do a whole bunch of cool things. You can modify all your users. I'm not gonna click on here because it has a bunch of my family members and friends' emails in there, so I'm not gonna show that. But you can manage all your users from in here. You can give them different permission levels. You can do a whole bunch of really cool things with that. And in the settings, we can see here, it is linked with my Rs, right? With sonar and radar. And what this service allows me to do is I basically never open sonar and radar on their own anymore, unless I'm troubleshooting or trying to do something a little bit more complicated. But now I will just open up Overseer on my phone or on my computer and make requests for things that I wanna to add to my servers, completely legally, of course and it makes things really, really easy. Now with family and friends, it makes things super easy as well. So if you're not just an individual, as an individual, this is super helpful. But as someone who manages a server for multiple people, this is invaluable. What this allows me to do is instead of people messaging me like, hey, can you get this thing for me? I really wanna watch it tonight. They can just go ahead and log on to Overseer that they're hosting, that I'm hosting, right? They're gonna go through my way of getting to it. I use a reverse tunnel so that they can get into my server and do this. And they will go ahead and request something. I will get notified and you can set up all different types of notifications, whether it's email, web push, discord, push bullet, all this kind of stuff. I actually use discord. So I have a particular server set up where when someone requests something, it throws ahead a message in there. I get notified of that and I can go ahead and approve it can also set people to be automatically approved, but they just go ahead, request it, I approve it, it starts downloading, all done. There's almost no effort that has to go into this. Super, super, super simple, and it has completely changed the way that I use my server, and it has made my family's lives so much easier where they're, they don't have to pester me and remind me to go ahead and download something. It has made my life easier because I don't have to go through all the effort of trying to keep track of all the things that people are asking me for and making sure I'm getting them. This has simplified all of that. And as I mentioned before, it's also helped me discover new stuff because I use the discover page all the time. And I have found lots of new movies from directors I like, with actors I like or actresses, um, from particular series that I like, all that kind of stuff. This has really, really helped with that. All right, so let's actually show you Overseer working with the R's in action. So we're gonna go back to Legally Blonde here. I'm gonna go ahead and submit a request. I'm gonna just gonna submit it at the default 720 to 1080p default. I'm gonna go ahead and request that. It's gonna say it was requested successfully. Now I can also see that it is marked as requested. If I go into requests and then I go into processing, it is gonna go ahead and show me that this is now being requested. So now if we go back over to our server, we're gonna go into radar. I'm gonna go ahead and open that baby up. We're gonna log in, so just give me one sec. Now, once we're logged into here, we can go ahead and go to my activity and we can see that Legally Blonde has been added to the queue and it is already downloading. So we are getting somewhere. It has been added to the queue, it's downloading and I didn't have to do anything in radar specifically Everything was done from Overseer and all that stuff was pushed over. So makes life so much easier. And now Overseer is just one of the many things I use on my server. If you are interested in seeing all of the other things I've been doing with my server since building it a couple months ago, please go ahead and get subscribed so you can be notified of when that new video comes out. I will be doing it sometime soon. Also, if there's anything in particular that you wanna know about in terms of my server, a particular thing I'm using, a particular thing I'm doing, or something that you wanna set up and you're curious as to a way that I would do that, go ahead and leave this down in the comment section below. I would be more than happy 
to include those things in the upcoming video or create a dedicated video if they have enough content in them for a, their own dedicated video, um, I'd be more than happy to. So please go ahead and let me know down in the comments. But I'm really, really curious what you guys think of Overseer. Are you using Plex right now? Do you think Overseer can kind of overhaul stuff for you? I absolutely love it. It is a huge thing for me. And it's been a huge thing for a lot of people that I've introduced it to. So I'd be really curious what you think about it. Um, and with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you wanna see any of the other videos where I talk about things that I'm doing on my server or that I've done on my server, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.